makeup clown uh, painting just vibing with songs you know I love dance just vibing you know moving around with moving with the uh, songs keeping active a little active you know Hey, nose blowing time. <laughs> now that all butts in my nose, good. <laughs> Just using my paper towel. <laughs> team, team paper towel, team paper towel, <laughs> team toilet paper. <laughs> I really like the hankies. <laughs> but I have a few. Maybe I'll do that another time. Team paper towel, I'm going to say. No, it's not rough on my nose. I hardly blow it. It's just for, yeah. Funny. <laughs> You're blowing it a lot when I was sick, but I'm well now. I just have to clear it out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love these jerks. Jerks. Okay. Let's drink some more water. Water, I had to drink a lot of water. All right, so I'm ready to go. I might come back, come back on YouTube later. And uh, I'm ready to go to make my TikToks for the day. It's uh, 1 a.m. I went to bed early. I was so tired. I think I went to bed at 6 or 7 o'clock. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so like seven hours. So I'm great. Woke up to an ambulance uh, alert, really loud, but it didn't startle me. I was surprised. Just my room was really hot. I was sweating. Lost more weight on the scale. <laughs> I'll put that on TikTok. Uh, I keep track of my weight. And ever since I've been doing the diuretics, everyone, like at first, no one noticed, <laughs> and then. I'm like, does anyone notice that I lost 30 pounds or 50 pounds or 100? No, does anybody notice all the work I do? And then finally, a few noticed. <laughs> well, I think the pictures look great. I, did, I take a lot of pictures. I'm very proud of my body. I love my body. I love my boobs. I love my, I love my arms. They don't hang. Look at that. This is awesome. They're so muscular. Like, they're so strong and muscular. Oh, I love my freckles. Yeah. I'm not a body hater or body, you know what I mean? And my thick thighs are, when you pull out the fluid, the ex excess, you know, edema or fluid, it dries it up, dries it up, and the muscles pop, you know, like strong, thick um, calves and legs. Not a thick, fat body. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying just less cellulite, less, you know, it's like, Firmer. That's what I want to say. Firmer, because I've been doing a, a firming supplemental. I'll put it on my community wall because I don't. I think I forgot. Because I, I kind of get a when I'm uh, I'm autistic. I'm only autistic, so I'm also smart. So um, I get uh, focused, really focused on what I'm doing to achieve. Okay. So, like, I'm really focused on, uh, since it seems like I can never get 2K on YouTube, it just sits there, it sits there. I can make a million videos, and I just get ignored, you know, or, or the uh, somebody says something stupid or whatever. Um, I don't get any support on YouTube for me at all. It's crazy, but on TikTok, it's just all fresh, and then, you know. The, the dipshit isn't in all, isn't on uh, isn't on TikTok at all because see you have to if you to do TikTok videos you kind of gotta look good or like if you're really fat you gotta lose weight you gotta do something about it and you know if you're a bully you know and you're a narcissist and you're not a help not a narcissist that can be cured doesn't get a you know there's one thing if you're have narcissistic personality disorder and you're getting help for it and you're medicated and you go to treatment and you're getting treatment but there's another thing if you're just outright nasty narcissist 
out to every time I do great. I feel great about myself. I feel great about my finances. I feel great about what I'm manifesting, what I'm proliferating, you know, my wellness factor improvements. And they don't have that improvements and they're definitely, you know, definitely jealous, just sick jealous of me and agreeing with, I mean, I could feel their, their vibration. I could feel them on my videos. It's like a mad obsession to look for something to put me down because I'm thriving. I'm uh, proliferating. I'm, uh, I'm uh, expanding my wealth, you know, and my kingdom. <laughs> and, uh, huh. They make false judgments and they're delirious and make false judgments of, on me. They've never met me. They don't know me. They've never been to my home. Oh, they say they've met me because they're insane. So they don't get treatment. They need massive treatment. I mean, you know, I believe in therapy and treatment. So that person and others like them are not on TikTok because I think they're a coward and they don't have the audacity or the confidence to show their body, show improvement or show pictures of the past where they look good because they've never looked good. That's the problem. They've always been like a fat blob, <laughs> a fat blob their whole life. There's one thing if you gained and lost weight and you're improving. But there's another if you're just a mean, narcissistic, fat blob. Oh, I said that right at level 11 confirmation. You know, fat blob that doesn't take care of themselves. You know, it's nasty. And goes around making fun of people that are improving themselves. Or in a little clique, a mean girl's clique. My psychologist, my psychiatrist, my therapist, my massage therapist, the people I work with. I talk about, I talk about it, and it's like, uh, it's, um, it's people that are, are not willing to get treatment, so they live with mental illness, untreated mental illness, and they go bonkers, they just go out of their fucking mind, <laughs> you know, and they like to target people like me or other people, indigos, empaths, really odd. Uh, generous folks and they you know they want to suck the life and destroy you and definitely take you know they definitely want to take all of my channels all of my plat I have many platforms you know and uh, I'm not going anywhere I just want to say I'm not going anywhere when I just say I'm, I'm sick of it yeah I'm sick of the envious the jealousness why doesn't this person just get fucking treatment? Get fucking treatment. Get into that psychiatrist every single day. Go to AA meetings, whatever you got to do, you know. But uh, get the fuck off YouTube. Get the fuck off social media. Or get the fuck on and talk about your problems and get therapy and show your face, show your body and start improving. Start, you know, doing the subliminals. Start working hard, you know. And start living better. Start living in opulence and wealth. You know. So you've got to do mantras. Win lotteries. Win things. Get jobs. Whatever you got to do to get money legally. You know, legal way. But I think that they're so narcissistic and so beyond help right now. Beyond help. I mean, they could get the therapies that will get them off my back. But the only way sometimes to get rid of these bitches is to go and fall in love with another hobby. So that's why I went to TikTok. Uh, I didn't know I could even do those, but I'm fantastic at it. And I've suppressed even YouTube. This bitch doesn't know what I'm capable of, you know. So it, I just rock and roll on TikTok. And they're so supportive. If you're overweight and you're losing weight rapidly or slowly, or if you, you're you overweight and you gain more weight and then you struggle and you lose weight and you gain, gain and lose your yo-yo, it's a fucking great platform to go on because they're supportive people. And if you get a shitty comment, like I get all the time on here, 
you could block them and they can't see your fucking content. They're gone. Well, let's say go on f another account. You have to make them work to see your videos. It's funny, funnier than fuck, man. That's why I just madly love TikTok. I madly love some other platforms that I do. And this bitch doesn't know what I'm capable of, who I am, what I'm about. But she, she, she met her, you know, I'm a bad bitch, okay? So I don't even know why she thinks she can compare to me. Um, so usually she scurries off, deletes her accounts, scurries off. I intimidate her a lot with my mad truth. <laughs> I'm not giving any names. Don't ask me names. It's the same bad bitch, the same mean bitch that's been on it for, for years uh, with her little, you know, flying monkeys because she goes to around to other YouTubers and bitches and complains, talks about me if I set her straight. You know, I hope she gets off her ass and has a good Valentine's Day. Like, have it early. Have Valentine's Day today. Why wait to actually the 14th and then come and try to bully me? I know better. I'm not doing any of that Valentine's shit on here this year. It's uh, I'll, I'll do TikToks. Valentine's is every day. Mother's Day is every day. Birthdays are every day. You know, I have family members. I You know, mom and my dad that passed away. The birthdays are on February, so I make TikToks or I make, you know, I'm not doing that YouTube bullshit where I sing for my brother or, you know, I might, but I mean, where, and then she goes with her 30 fucking accounts and thumbs me down 30 times. Because guess what, bitch, on TikTok, you can't thumbs me down. <laughs> you can only give me a heart. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.